Good morning, family. It's the Mobile Home Diva here. Um, today is Monday, and it has been a absolutely crazy day. This is my third cup of coffee this morning. I've been on the clock since 7 a.m., which is my normal schedule, but it's just a crazy day. It's going to be a crazy week. So, um, I just wanted to check in. I let everybody know that my husband's brother passed away. Um, he actually had a heart attack on Wednesday and he lives in another city close to Florida, down in Bainbridge, Georgia. They didn't contact or find out how to contact his family until Friday. My husband is the oldest, so they got in touch with him and we called the hospital, he was in ICU. He was on a ventilator. Um, he was having seizure after seizure. Saturday they called and, and allowed us to see him on a video call, which was really sad. And he, the doctor said that he had had too much lost too much oxygen he had coded it three times um he just was never going to wake up again and so the entire family got together to make a decision and we chose to take him off the ventilator he was suffering a lot he was already gone the ventilator was just keeping him his heart pumping so we took him off the ventilator and within 20 minutes he was gone we weren't able to go because with the um all the stuff that's going on in the world you can only go into a hospital if you're the patient so we weren't able to go we had to do everything by phone call contacting the funeral home doing all kind of stuff so it's been crazy it's been a busy weekend. It hasn't been a restful weekend, but we're doing okay. I can't talk long. I have to get back to work. Like I said, this is my third cup of coffee. Stressful time being back at work. My husband's taking three days off from his job for bereavement. He really needs it. Not easy being um, the big brother and even though all of his siblings, he has two other brothers and a sister that are alive. All of them made the same decision. It was my husband who had to relay it and we had to do all the paperwork. So it's been really tough. Please keep him in your thoughts and prayers. Um, it's been really tough for him. So anyway, um, I posted a home tour that I had not posted last night i hope you guys enjoyed it if you haven't i'll put it up in the um, i card above so that you can check it out i think it's a beautiful home i love the colors and the color block that they did on um, the living room has the gray at the bottom white at the top and the dining room has the white at the bottom gray at the top it's really pretty so go check that out today i'm supposed to be receiving my teeth whitening kit i ordered a teeth a tooth teeth whitening kit from um, Smile Direct and I'm really excited about it because you guys know I want to get these coffee stained teeth taken care of so when that comes I'm gonna be trying it out with you on video I'm super excited about that um, but yeah maybe I'll check back in on my lunch break I don't I don't video while I'm working cause I'm working. So it's dark in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and go and I'll see you guys in the next clip. All right family, so it's after work. I took a shower, freshened up and now it's time to cook dinner. <clears throat> I took this chicken out, it's a whole chicken cut up and I took it out earlier but um, it's still a little frozen on the inside. So first things first, we're going to get the chicken nice and clean. Um, what I'm doing now is going through each piece, making sure that I pull off any extra fat. And also if there are any feathers or anything in it, 
then I'll be mindful to pull those off as well. I use vinegar when I'm cleaning my chicken um, just to get that extra layer of cleanliness. Um, it helps to pull out um, all the impurities and things like that from the chicken. And so I'm giving it one more once over um, before I get it nice and seasoned. Again, I pull off all that extra fat. We don't need that. We want to try to cook it as healthy as possible. And then I try to pat it dry as best as I can before um, I start adding my seasonings. So now it's time to get the seasoning. Here I'm using onion powder, a little garlic powder, adobo seasoning, shake on a little lemon pepper, some Creole seasoning, And last things last is some paprika. Now, paprika really doesn't have any taste, but it adds color. So this is a brand new bottle. I'm going to take the, uh, the top off. And again, I don't use particular measurements. I just eyeball it, whatever feels right. So I get the seasoning in there and I work it in really, really good. Um, and now we want to line the base of the air fryer and then we'll put the basket in and, and add the chicken. I had too much to cook it all at one time. You just want one layer. And I'm going to cook this chicken for 20 minutes. I first put it on 10, then I thought about it and changed it to 20. After 10 minutes, I check it just to see how it's progressing. As you can see, um, it's not doing a whole lot uh the camera doesn't really do it justice i was starting to see it crisp a little bit but it just wasn't quite there yet here it's a little browner and it's starting to get crisp but it isn't where i like it i can still see some blood and so i keep putting it back in for a few minutes at a time just until it gets where i like it it's looking nice and golden brown here. It's getting really crispy. I wish you could actually hear it. Um, sorry I got the sound off. But it's getting really, really crispy. Still see a little blood though. So we're going to put it back in for just a little bit. Probably about five more minutes. That looks so good, right? It is super crispy, you guys. No flour or anything just super super crispy um the house smells amazing with the seasonings that i use um there's a little oil off the chicken in the bottom and then that w one breast I, I split it still had a little blood in it so i left that in and added the remainder of the chicken following the same process 20 minutes and then check it every 10. um and you just let it cook until it gets to your consistency. Now, the air fryer does tell you how much the average is for what. On the top of it, there is um, like directions for whatever you're cooking, whether it's fish, chicken, french fries, potatoes, etc. However, I like to um, just try it out for myself. Sometimes it takes a little longer, um, but... Uh, so far i haven't had an issue so this is our tester um i do see a little pink but i think it's okay we're gonna test it i let my husband test it and i tested it as well and we actually ended up eating that entire piece uh we actually fixed our food and ate 
all of the chicken. And then this is out of the second batch. This is what we had left after we ate dinner. Um, and it, it was really good. It was seasoned good. Sorry that the chicken breast was picked apart, but I just wanted to make sure that there was no blood in it. And stay tuned for the next episode because I'm going to show you how I made this delicious homemade mac and cheese. See you tomorrow.